I'd always thought it was very odd that he didn't reach out to me before he was executed. I just had a feeling he would, but he didn't. My mom had been going through a time of spiritual development where she took classes and prayed and meditated. And I was going to community college. I had moved back home with my mom and I was doing rather well for the first time since this all transpired. And I came home from school one day and there was a letter from the jail and it wasn't addressed to me, but I opened it anyways. My mom wasn't at home. And it said, I have found God, I've been working on my spirituality. It was like this person over thousands of miles had been able to intuit what she would have wanted to hear. And there was no way I was going to let him have that hook into her again. There was no way. So I put it in the fireplace and I set it on fire. And I never mentioned that it arrived. She's got a piece of her that responds to him. And I didn't want to see that piece be exploited again. I watched that throughout this entire journey. One of his attorneys called us after he'd been executed and said that Ted had asked her to call us and make sure that we knew that he loved us. And she also said he wondered why I never responded to his last letter. And I, I mean, I didn't know what last letter she was talking about. So that's when Molly told me there had been a letter that had come. Yeah. You were protecting her, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I guess I could have lied and said it was lost in the mail, but I didn't. I told her I burned it. And she accepted it very quietly, but I could tell it hurt her heart that I had robbed her of this closure, this last interaction. But I wasn't sorry. I'm not sorry at all. And I'm especially not sorry that he went to his death wondering why she never wrote back. Good. Maybe she's done with you, you know? Maybe she's got no interest. And I'm, I'm not sorry for him to believe such things at the time of his death. What were you worried that might have happened if she'd read the letter? that she would be distraught, that she would be connected to him, that they would then correspond, that she would grieve his passing in a very active way, <sighs> that he would somehow get his hooks into her. Yeah, she'd seen that many times before, so it wasn't a stretch of her imagination.